But in fact, if you're trying to get healthier, which is why I asked the question at the beginning, you should actually be more interested in trying to do something about your visceral fat and your liver fat. Now, the question is, how do you do anything about any one of those three? The answer for the liver fat, which is the most important because it's ground zero, mm -hmm. is get rid of the sugar and get rid of the alcohol. The best uh, uh, way to get rid of the visceral fat is stress reduction because cortisol is what put the uh, uh, adipose tissue in that, in that fat component it was, um, was stress. Okay, and we know that because you can take people who are clinically depressed, who are losing weight because they don't want to eat because they want to die. Okay, they're anhedonic. We have to admit them to the hospital to save them from themselves. They're suicidal. Okay, and we admit them to the psych ward, the locked psych ward, and we put them in a scanner, and it turns out they're losing um, subcutaneous fat because they're not eating, but they're gaining visceral fat. The fat is actually being transferred from the subcutaneous space to the visceral space, okay? Because that visceral fat is due to stress. And anything that with high cortisol will generate a high visceral fat. We, we know this from the syndrome Cushing's uh, disease, Cushing syndrome, okay? That you get the visceral fat because of the cortisol. So the, the modalities that you have to bring to bear depend on what it is you're actually trying to fix. But of course, everybody wants the sub-Q fat because that's why they come looking for help. Um, the, the, the question is, what's best to do about that? And the answer there is you got to get the insulin down because the insulin is what made that fat. Insulin pushes on that fat. It also pushes so much that it doesn't allow the fat to give up its fat. So as long as your insulin level is high, you're not going to be able to do anything to reduce that um, subcutaneous fat uh, component. So the question is, how do you get the insulin? And the answer is, well, let it go up. And what makes it go up? Refined carbohydrate and sugar. That's what makes it go up. And also okay, amino, uh, certain amino acids like uh, isoleucine, valine, uh, uh, leucine uh, chain amino acids, like what's in protein powder that bodybuilders take. So if you're a bodybuilder and you're building muscle, great. But if you're not, then, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Corn fed beef, chicken and fish, because those have a lot of uh, branch chain amino acids in them more than, shall we say, grass fed. Okay. And um, exercise will also keep your insulin down. So the goals are dependent on the type of fat that you have to deal with. And that's what makes this very difficult. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I love the way you've differentiated the different pockets of fat in the body and how to address them differently. Um, and of course, you're right. Most people are coming in saying, hey, I want to you know, lose uh, weight. And they often are not even aware that that could be fat mass. It could be muscle mass, right? And so right. 